This is my 06 B7800 Kubota cab tractor. Got a five foot B2763 blade on the front and a six foot V type snow blower on the back. If you want to see that snowblower in action, I've got a few videos on my channel. Today, we're going to uh, change the float detent. I'll get in and get a close-up of it for you. So like a lot of Kubotas, this is a Husco hydraulic valve. And the, uh, the problem with these valves is the float detent chamber at the end uh, gets water in them and it freezes. And when you shove the uh, control forward, it uh, either freezes solid or it uh, damages the uh, float detent, which is what happened to mine. So today we're going to uh, change it. And I'll uh, get in a little closer here and show you what they look like. So I already uh, changed the uh, the regen side. That's the uh, the side that uh, uh, controls the uh, direction of the blade. I'm going to take this hose off of here. Actually, I'm going to take them all off so you can see what's going on. And I have to take them off uh, to get in there and do it anyway. So I'll do that right now. As I said, a lot of the uh, Kubotas have Husco hydraulic valves on them. And what happens here is the rain or even the snow gets on here. You get snow on here, this heats up after some use. Then the water runs down and Husco have been really good at providing cracks for the water to run into. So you've got two of these washers in between the two sections. There's no ceiling there, so the water can run in there, run in there, run in there, and run in there. Then what happens is it runs down into this cap, and there's no hole in there to allow the water to drain out. Now they got a couple slots here, but I think that'll just let in more water. So anyways, uh, we're going to end up uh, drilling a hole in the bottom here to let the water out and a hole up top here so we can flush it with WD-40. So this is the way it goes together. You got a washer there, or spacer, spacer there, spacer there, and the float detente fits in here. It's screwed on to the end of the, uh, the valve. So I'll, uh, I'll take that apart and uh, show you what it is. This one I've already done. It's got the holes drilled in it. It's uh, that one there, and that is the one uh, for the float for up and down. So I'll take that off now, show you how that comes off. So below my valve here, I've got uh, three magnetic ash trees sitting on a stool. Uh, there's five ball bearings loose in there and a spring. So I've dropped them before. Hey, we're going to take us off. I did put some grease in here to hold the ball bearings in when I had it apart earlier, but uh, you have to be really careful. It uh, it could go everywhere.
So there's a barrel and inside there there's five ball bearings and a small spring. So I'm going to put this around there and pull it off. So there's, there's the end of it right there. I'll show you a close-up of all these things. Uh, it's being good and sticking in there. Uh, this is loose. It'll fall off. But I put some grease to hold it up there. So I'll uh, go inside and uh, give you a close-up of all these parts, the new ones. I've got the old float detente apart and there's the end cap. You've got the two spacers and the collar and there's the interior cylinder that uh, the uh, ball bearings uh, catch on and here's the end where the ball bearings fit into. It's all damaged from the ice in the bottom of the cap. I'll give you a close-up of that. So as you can see, there's no drain hole in the bottom of the cap there. We'll fix that on the new one. So here's the new uh, float detente. And again, your uh, end cap and the barrel, two spacers. Uh, we've got a new uh, cylinder there. Uh, there's the new end that screws on to the end of the valve. This spring goes down in there. And then this big ball goes on top of it. And it has to be pushed down past these holes and then you uh, put the ball bearings in there. So I'll show you how to do that uh, when I get out uh, back to the tractor. Use some grease to hold the ball bearings in there and then this slides over top of that. So what I'm going to use for that is this jury rig tool. You put this on here, put the ball bearing in there, and you push it past, and then you drop in the smaller ball bearings, then you slide this over top. So I'll show you how that actually goes together when we uh, get out to the tractor. I'm gonna Drill holes in uh, in those uh, those two new pieces, and I'll show you when I'm finished. So I've drilled the two holes. I've drilled this one up on this spacer, and it sits like that on the uh, on the valve, so it's kind of sheltered. But you can actually get in there with WD-40 and spray it down. And there's the hole in the cap and it's oriented like that so the hole is at the low point so any water that gets in there will drain out you can see they've got a couple of slots here 
and all they do is let more water in because they're not going to drain anything. I'll give you a close up of that. And that's it. We'll uh, take you out and put it on the tractor. Okay, we're back at the tractor. I'll uh, get this all put together. So there's uh, the two that we drilled a hole in. This one goes over there. And the cap goes on with a hole at the bottom. Now you have to use some grease to uh, get these things to stick on there and, and not, uh, not fall off. Your hands are gonna be busy here. So I've already got grease on the ball bearings there. Okay, so the next thing to go on is this. And it helps if it's a little cold. It's not cold today, but it should stick. Again, the hole goes up that way. Put that on there. And I'm just check and make sure all my ball bearings are there. Gotta get a flashlight. I'll be back. Yes, yeah, so all uh, all of the four small bear ball bearings are there. And next thing that goes on is this other spacer. You need that to stick on and stay out of the way. So the next thing that goes on is this, and the line goes down on that. So I'm going to put it on there, and then I'm going to push this big ball bearing against the spring, and hopefully small ones will stay there. And you slide this collar up like that, and release it, and it'll stay there. And then you put on the cap, hole down. You can see here, these slots are on the side. They would never drain anything off. Done this a couple of times, so the first time I did it, it wasn't uh, quite that quick. So this is not my idea to drill the holes in here. Uh, there's a fellow on the Orange, tra tra Orange Tractor Talk forum named Butch, and he's dealt with these Husco valves a lot, and it's uh, it's his idea. So he explained it in a post, and I thought I'd make a video of it. So there we are, we're all tightened up, hopefully it works. There might be a little bit uh, too much grease in there, uh, might not be enough friction for the balls to hold, so we might have to wash it out with WD-40. It works, but I'm not, I'm not sure whether it's uh, whether it's sticking or not. Okay, that's it. Uh, detent install on a Husco hydraulic valve on a Kubota B7800.